It's these kind of spring days out there where every Idahoan seems to want to get off their couch and get outside into the warm sunshine. Greenbelt is busy, parks are bustling, foothills are lined with runners and bikers and walkers, and that's why it's a good time to throw it back a little bit. A little TBT to June of 1993 when our, our Exploring Idaho team took us to Silver Mountain to enjoy some mountain biking with former KTVB reporter David Mills. Kellogg in the heart of Idaho's Silver Valley. It's home to the state's newest ski resort, Silver Mountain, and boasts the world's longest gondola. Already, this place has earned a reputation for superb skiing, but when the snow melts and the skis are in the closet, this year-round resort doesn't go to sleep. It's one of the Northwest's premier spots for mountain biking. Hey, hop right in, put your feet up on the seat the long way. There are a few better ways to spend a summer day than taking a nice, leisurely bike ride, but that's not exactly what we're in store for. Once aboard Silver Mountain's 3.1 mile gondola, you've got time to relax and enjoy the view. And it is spectacular. You can see for miles in every direction. Thousands of tourists come here every year just to enjoy this 20 minute ride. But for us, the adventure has just begun. 100 miles of trail traverse the mountain. If you're into mountain biking, this is the place for you. Good morning. Technology has made it just more efficient. It's actually made the sport easier and more enjoyable for a wider range of people. The right equipment makes a big difference. Some of the trails are rough and tough, and you'll want to make sure you're prepared. And don't forget your helmet. It's required equipment. The six main trails here vary. Some are easier than others. A couple will get you down the mountain quickly, while the longest, 22 miles, takes several hours. Uh, this is the Big Creek Trail. Uh, this one's 18 miles long, goes from the mountain house down past the Sunshine Mine and Big Creek itself, and then follows the frontage road back to the base terminal. One of the best things about biking here at Silver Mountain is that once you've taken the gondola to the top of the hill, the ride down is pretty easy. About 95% of it is on a downhill grade. Just about anybody can handle it, so long as you keep your bike in control. We get quite a diversity of people up here because they can ride the gondola from young to old to beginner, experienced, quite a variety because we have trails for everybody and a little bit of uh, variety that even the hardcore riders really enjoy. Speed is what I really like, going down completing a good fast run and getting to the bottom without wrecking. For me, just staying on the bike is challenging enough, much less hitting 30 to 40 miles an hour. It's easy to do on some of the smoother downhill grades, but you'll want to slow down anyway. There's plenty to see. This is looking down into the Big Creek drainage. This is the Big Creek golf course and looking on across um, at one of the gulches, Montgomery Gulch, that goes up on the other side. All the little ravines here are filled with little housing projects like that from the mining days. Depending on the trail you pick, some of the riding can be a little tricky. And while you should be keeping your eyes on the road, with scenery like this, it's not very easy. It's pretty much the top of the world, you know. It's a beautiful place. It doesn't get boring because things always change, the flora and the fauna. You know, it's always moving, changing, the rocks are moving, there's different flowers, different times of the year, and there's always the wildlife and just the scenery to look at. Today's new breed of mountain bikes have opened up a whole new form of outdoor recreation. It's a great all-around sport. It gives you the freedom to go where you want to go and see some country that is otherwise hidden. Oh, I think it's tremendous. Um, I can't see anywhere else that it's any better than this uh, as far as overall opportunities, the miles of roads that you can ride, as well uh, as a superb system like this of getting up the hill and then getting down without as much effort. And there's an added benefit. This is the best kind of stress relief uh, that that man has found in my mind. 
of course, mountain bikes have obviously become more technologically savvy in the last 30 years or so. And you can still take those new mountain bikes to Silver Mountain this summer, but they're not going to be at Idaho's newest resort anymore. Tamarack takes that title after opening in 2004, 14 years after Silver Mountain opened. Silver Mountain opened in 1990, and you can mountain bike at Tamarack as well. Like many of Idaho's 18 ski resorts, they all have some sort of summer activity going on these days. Sadly, Silver Mountain doesn't boast the world's longest gondola, not gondola, gondola. We're going to go with gondola. It's 3.1 miles long, which is apparently uh, now in Serbia. That's the longest one. Now it's over five and a half miles long. And Silver Mountain does have the longest gondola in the United States, just not for long, according to Steamboat Resort in Colorado. They're building their own, the Wild Blue Gondola, which will be the fastest and longest 10 passenger gondola in the States, which is slated to open next winter. And if you're looking for the soundtrack to this Exploring Idaho series, we'll try to put something together because that music is tight. We'll see you in a bit.